So, funny story, I am like the mule in Isaac Asimov's Foundation series. Hello and welcome back to the Arvok Alliance Let's Play Poorly series here. Uh, so, turns out that the problem we had uh, in the last episode, we were trying this mission the first time, where we get in and immediately the carrier nopes out on us. That was because I came so, so close to failing the mission before that I arrived at the carrier just as it was warping out. And then for some reason, the way the, the game was set up, when we started the next episode, started the next mission, the carrier completed its warp out, which is not uh, an edge case that was ever <laughs> intended to even have to be dealt with. But I, you know, I'm, I'm, I messed it up a little bit, I guess. So uh, that has been fixed. So if anybody else is quite so close to the wire as I was, uh, that won't happen not for anybody else. And then uh, the dev believes he's uh, solved the problem with the Venari uh, flipping out and going away after they destroyed the destroyer. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to finish this civilian protection mission without any other difficulties. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, you can rely on me to find the edge cases because I will always do things the least reasonable way possible. So yeah, like the mule in the uh, Foundation series where he's got the, everything is all planned out. But the one thing they didn't account for was one weirdo with a bad idea. And once again, I forgot to check my loadout. That's all right. Take it as it comes. I was like, oh, freaking out. Oh, it was not a destroyer. It was a battleship. It's like, oh, my God. The transport's gone. No, it's right down there. Remember that they don't pop out from here, right? They pop out not from here, obviously, not the nav point itself, but they don't pop out ahead of me. They pop out behind me towards the transport. On the other side, right? They're trying to get get in so that I'm not in between. And meanwhile, while we wait. Gonna watch these beautiful vistas. There we go. Oh no, they are over on that side. All right, that'll be easier. Let's go get them. Someone bumped me. Stop it! Only I'm allowed to do that. Get it! All right, good hit there. How did I lose Beta 3 out of the gate again? Oh boy, I ain't got time for that. Executing orders, sir. 
What the heck happened to me there? Oh. Uh, gun wake. Oh, all right. Uh oh. We lost beta one and beta three. These are still just fighters, they're not the bombers. Hopefully the... Oh, oh, all right, you guys are pretty good at this. Losing too many. Sir, Having a tougher time this time around. It's interesting. gonna do it. Uh. He bugged out on me there. And he's coming back around. Okay. And there's... Oh! Got him! Got him. <laughs> Alright, that did work. Order confirmed. Got it. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, Alpha 3 Prepare reload. Executing orders, sir. That's all we got. So the the now I'm I'm not gonna try to use the information I had I'm just gonna talk through this for a second, but the last time we got the third or fourth wave or whatever it is they went right for the battleship. So if that happens again they're gonna come out on the other side of that and they're gonna go right for the battleship with their bombers. But I feel like, well I guess maybe it does make sense for them to try to go for the battleship first. But honestly, what I would do. If I were them, so I'd, I'd pop in on the other side of the transport. Now that they kind of theoretically know where everything is laid out, maybe they transmitted data back, right? If I were telling this narratively, I would have them appear between the planet and the transport. Unless they have a different uh, mission parameters unless like their whole their goal isn't necessarily just to take out the transport but to take out the uh to take out the military assets maybe they don't know what's on the transport I don't like that I'm down to three ships You're good enough. You got it. Yep. There we go. Okay. Nope, these are fighters again. Oh, this is gonna not work. This isn't gonna work. Oh, there's the bombers. Oh, take that out. Take that out. Kill it? Yes, apparently I can. Where's this other bomber? Come on, bomber. Executing orders, sir. Oh, get it, get it. Ooh. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Down to just me. Oh no. What? Oh, yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Uh uh. Uh, no. 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 Carrier, don't leave me. I don't know. I don't expect you're planning to, but. Oh, come on, Kevin. What are you doing? What are you doing? Land right. We'll let the battleship take care of the other guys. Come on, down, down, down. Up, up, up. Oh, frickin' no. You gotta be kidding me. You know what the problem was? I forgot to pull my throttle up. I just went with the afterburner and that didn't do enough. Because I'm a ding dong. But hey, look at this. We survived. Any fight you can walk away from, right? Even if you're the only one walking away from it. Well, hey, we got the Navy Star. I feel like maybe they weren't watching the video replay of that. Congratulations on your mission success. You saved thousands of lives, and your actions will play a pivotal role in the formation of a stronger union between the Alliance and Federation. However, we have little time to celebrate our victory. Our arrival in this system has resulted in intensified activity by the Venari in the region. They have mobilized a vast array of heavy capital ships and what appears to be hundreds of scouts, fighters, and bombers throughout the upper quadrant. Alliance Command has dispatched an additional battle group to join us here in Olympus, where we will form a blockade in an effort to stop the Venari from advancing past this point. Your objective for this mission is to meet the arriving ships at the designated waypoint and then escort them back to our location. We don't anticipate strong enemy resistance, but you should be prepared for any surprises. Our ship inventory has been expanded with the completed preparation of new Interceptor and Bomber class spacecraft. You now have access to the new Firestar, Raven, and Shrike ship classes. While not as nimble or fast as fighters, these ships are built for taking a hit and are ideal for defensive escort roles, as well as offensive attacks on capital ships. Okay. Alright, I'll take that. Shrike. Very low agility on that one. Holy moly. Oh, that one's got... What What would the Evoc E have? 105 agility versus 55. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, well, but the arm... Okay, let's see. The armor is just a smidge better on this one. It does have the highest speed of its class, it says. The, the, the Raven does. Yeah. And this one... Hmm... Capable and dog. I feel like I need to kind of ease into it, maybe, and do a fire star instead. I, I, the Raven though looks like it might be the best, the best one to use. But it's for capital ship engagements. I don't think this mission is going to deal with that, but we'll see. Now, as far as equipment goes, do I want to just yeah? Let's let's do the thing I do. Or well, actually, that was the thing I do: the relay system and the heat sink. But maybe we'll try we'll try the anti-missile system and the auto CM launcher because th that's what gets me every time is those stupid missiles. I think I might actually be better at this game now than I used to be, and maybe I'm not as much of uh, under threat from missiles as I was before. But I definitely panic every time I have to launch CM. I don't know what range to launch it at, and, and so I just, I'm going to let somebody else do that for me. And that is anti-missile system seems like a good idea. But we'll we'll, we'll give this a run. Still not super convinced I want the repair system. I don't know that I ever am in a fight long enough for it to matter, but we're going to do it. We're just going to keep it. Oh, and then uh, the missiles. Was I going to... Was I going to... Oh, Exodus Leech. That's the EMP. Engines, weapon system, kinetic blast. I remember in, in Evercron, I really like the leech because it just knocks them out and then I can use my guns. But 
I don't know. I guess the question I would have is whether or not it matters whether or not it hits when their shields are up. Because if it doesn't matter, if it can still disrupt them when the shields are up, then that can be the first thing I fire. And then they're a sitting duck after that. But I think we're going to do, we're going to make one radical change at a time here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so we're just going to keep the Starfires and the Exodus. Give it a go. See what happens. All right, I've got two wings. This catapult makes me so happy. I just love the idea of it, and I love how it's implemented. Alpha, head to the rendezvous at the waypoint to meet the arriving ships. You got it. I do. I do wish there were a different sound with the catapult. Like if if it um. If it had some kind of additional noise to indicate that it's not just your thrusters that are that are doing it, but uh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have used the catapult because I gotta go behind me. There we go. Let's go this way. Wait till everybody's on the other side of the carrier. Let me go IDS nine. All right, carrier is overhead and behind now, so I think we'll be all right. Let's go. Every time I'm heading into the sun. All right, so we're awaiting the uh, the other ship, the other ships. Jesus! Hey, watch where you point that thing. Backer of the Alliance Twelfth Battle Group. Our escort ships were destroyed before we made the jump, and we are requesting immediate oh assistance. The Venari weren't far behind us, and they'll be here soon. Okay. Question is, where are they coming from? Stand by, Becker. We've already dispatched several squadrons to fly escort for you. Several? It's two. You you dispatch two, guy. Two. Several. I mean, I would kill for several. Give me Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon. How about that? It should be like a difficulty slider where I get to have all the ships in the fleet. <laughs> Didn't ballet that one right. Sir, I'm in need of repairs. Ooh. Come on.
Last one. Oof, good hit, good hit. Oh, and then some not so good hits. What the heck is, stop it. Who is that? Who's doing that? It's you, isn't it? Executing orders, sir. Heads up, new hostiles inbound. You got it. Oh, bombers this time. We gotta start with that. We gotta get that bomber out of there. Oh boy, oh boy. They're coming in an angle. Oh shit, that's a lot. Oh no, oh boy. Who's that? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? I don't like whatever that is. Mm, stop it. Oh, I'm done. I'm I'm done for. What the heck? Is that somebody on my tail? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, let's try it one more time. Congratulations. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Congratulations. Oh, crap. I ch forgot to check the loadout. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go with what we got. Alpha. See now, if, when I hit max throttle, it would be nice if there were like a, a shunt sound of some sort, showing, sounding like the the, the catapults going. That would be that would be pretty cool. Oh, but right, 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 right. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that. I want to go the other way. I want to go the other way. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Roger that. Oh, here we go. Come on. Okay, so I had been setting them all to attack all hostiles. I think this next time around I'm going to have them... Uh, just go target it one one at a time. And I wonder if maybe the swarming is the problem because they're dying. My guys are dying real fast, and maybe they'll have more luck if they're not just swarming all of them. If they're only going after one at a time. Yeah, shouldn't have used the catapult that time. Because then I could have just come right out of here and done an, an elegant barrel roll. Probably face-planted on the, the radar thingies over there, whatever they are. That's probably what would have happened. All right, can we go now? Let's go now. Watch all my other wing men are going to, like, bonk into the carrier. <laughs> Hold here. There he is. Oh, god damn it. This is the ACT Becker of the Alliance 12th Battle Group. Our escort ships were destroyed before we made the jump, and we are requesting immediate assistance. Was that other destroyer here before? I was next to the transports. Maybe I just didn't see it. Hostile 
Coffee. Here it is. Roger that. We're going after. Oh no, we're going after the lead. Yes, sir. These are just fighters, I think, at this point. Looks like they're all fighters. Shields up, shields up, shields up. Order confirmed. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm in need of repairs. Oh, too late. And he's done. Okay. Warm up, guys. I'm on it. All right. Well, that time we only lost one, which is like a hundred times better than what we did before. Reading new hostile contents. These are the bombers. Okay, they're coming on this side of the. Uh, yeah. Okay, destroyer. All right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh boy, they're close. God, what are they doing? Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, bad, 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 bad time. Get it, get it. Okay. Yes, sir. Get that last bomber. Oh, much better, much better, much better. Now, that's a question I have. I wonder if the attack my target remains in effect if I switch targets. Because I've been just constantly hitting attack my target, attack my target every time I switch targets or when I destroy one and another one gets targeted. I should probably check what the orders are here, shouldn't I? When that happens. That would probably be... That would tell me the answer. If it defaults back to form up or something, or defaults to uh, attack all hostiles. Here we go. Yes, sir. You got it. Let's get these bombers first. Honestly, it would take me longer to check than it does to just hit the button. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bomber. Let's finish this. I won't last much longer. My ship has sustained subsystem damage. 
And now you're dead. That's it. Okay. Form up. Ooh. We survived one extra ra wave than the last time, but we're now still down to four guys. Hmm. I mean, it looks like they're approaching. They are actually approaching the other guys. Let's see. How far out are we? There we go. Let's head home, guys. That was a good mission. I, that was a fun mission. I enjoyed that. Was that was that was the ex correct amount of stressful for me. I did feel like I was definitely under the gun, um, and it was the the waves were compelling. Like I liked the fact that there were fighters in the first wave and the bombers, and they were definitely going straight for. Um, they were definitely going straight for the cap ships. We've had other missions like that. Uh, before, of course, but I really like that. I really like that. So they, that was the one, this one was the one that really reminded me a lot of Free Space 2, which did that kind of a mission really, really well. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. I think we're more than halfway through the game at this point. Check to see. But it is definitely ramping up in, uh, in the amount of, like, attention you have to pay to things. The 12th? Yeah, we're now at, uh, mission 20. Out of, uh, I don't know how many, maybe 30? Uh, I have to look. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.